Okay. And yeah, well, we have to come back out of closed session at the end so yeah. we can report it out regardless. Okay. But so. Okay, so motion. I need a motion to what, guys? I need a motion to approve the regular meeting agenda mm -hmm. with the exceptions of items four and five, which would be tabled. All motion. Second. Uh, parent. Okay. Shortech, two thousand thirty dollars and fifty nine cents road barricades. Those were purchased through the CSD, but they were reimbursed by the association. The association owns those barricades. They are on permanent loan to the CSD, but that has been reimbursed. Reimbursed by Fire Fire Association. Yes. Thank you. How's that? How's that accounted for? I wrote a check for them to the CSD. It was billed on the CSD's account. Is this, is this, it's like for parade and stuff, that kind of thing? Yes. Correct. Okay. And, and road, closures, like, road closures, <clears throat> if the district needs them for any purpose whatsoever. Emergency, that kind yes. of thing too? Okay. okay. Is that written anywhere that that's, uh, that, that that's on permanent loan for those purposes? Is that in writing? If you would like it to be. Just paper. <laughs> I'll make a note for that and I can do it. Thank you. Any other public comment? Please. Um. Liver and Buckman, um, I just have a question, I guess. I'm assuming this goes with this section of the report? It, it's, it stands alone. It's just it's not part of this item? It is part of this item. It is part of the item, but it doesn't go with anything. No, Liver, it, it's her staff report, then that, and then the items, the claims detail and everything. So it's part of her staff report. <coughs> So is it right. something I should ask about now or later? At this, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Please, I need you to just go sign in and be at the podium because we have video. <laughs> Sorry, Thank you. Didn't you. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I didn't do that. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm looking at the financial summary that you have there. And, um, it appears that my question is just basically um, before we had a form kind of like this that gave operating funds and capital expenses. So I'm assuming this report should match with the end of the claims and stuff. Should be that right, Paul? This Financial oh, she's asking about this form versus this should match the end of the financial um, detail claims fee yes. bill and all that. So this is just put it kind of in a nutshell. Right. Okay, I appreciate mm -hmm. that. 
Types of tough pads to see what be that are not necessarily tough pads, but other brands also tell um, Acer. Can't be a little more right now, but after narrowing it down to being a tough pad for being the most durable and the, what we would need to, for our longevity, um, we did do quotes from other from various companies that sell those products. Um, as you can imagine, that is a proprietary type of device so all of the prices were pretty much the same it is proprietary in some sense but it's also an extremely competitive marketplace I only know it because I've just recently purchased tough pads for a uh, license plate recognition system at my day job and again they were proposing $3,900 per unit uh, it was negotiated to about $2,700 per unit 
So I did. That was with a size of my other purchase. I bought uh, three. Yeah. But it was also included with the, the LPR system. So the $3,300 per tablet, so again, this is two tablets. That, and that includes uh, the docking station, includes the warranty, and these particular ones are not necessarily the base model, but they're, uh, uh, they come with a lot of other different options that aren't really available through, like if you just went and bought a one off the shelf type of device. Um, we did search around, or I did rather search around for other companies that sold those. Um, Panasonic, it's a Panasonic device, as you all know. There's not a lot of authorized retailers for those devices. There was some retailers that are not authorized that were slightly less, but for the the ability to work directly with Panasonic on a, on a return or an issue, um, we chose to go with the Panasonic retailer. Um, this price is actually a better price than what we were anticipating based on the other information, and I just happened to stumble come across this company. Uh, this is a different company that we used to buy the tough book for the fire department. But overall, this is the, the best value for the information that we had come across. Okay, uh, how are you benchmarking with pricing? I mean, if we're spending you know, essentially $7,000 on that particular vendor, how are you benchmarking the prices to know that we're getting the best value uh, for the CST? Well, you know, number one, we're taking, we're, we developed the, the, uh, the specifications that we are looking for. And that's what we went out to everybody with and said, okay, well, what, what do you have, what do you have, what do you have? And after we narrowed it down to Tough Book being the one that we wanted to go with, then we took the same specifications to each of the vendors and got pricing from each of the vendors. Um, this uh, Mooring Tech was one of the more responsive vendors. And again, like I said, we went back through and after working with our uh, Alan, our IT guy, he suggested that we stay with the Panasonic retailer. The price difference was pretty minimal, maybe $100 a device, between what an off-brand was trying to sell us and what, what we could have gotten from that. Uh, did you go to any bigger players, like a B &H Photo, for example? We looked at a lot of different ones. I don't, like I said, I don't remember exactly all of them, but they, there is a listing on Panasonic's website of all their authorized vendors. Mm -hmm. And I did a search through the internet for just this device, um, not specific to the specifications, but just that model. Okay. And it came up with probably a hundred different vendors that you could get from. Mm -hmm. um, some of those were larger, some of them were smaller. Uh, Morning Tech is not a huge company, mm -hmm. but they are uh, very very responsive as far as their customer service. And again, the, the price wasn't a whole lot different from what we what we had gotten. Okay, uh, just for <coughs> reference, B and H in my experience for tech products. Uh, this goes from computers to cameras to LG. What's it called? Flash screen. B and H Photo. B. Okay. Uh, is by far. Uh, the lowest pricing that I can find. I do a lot of sourcing and I do a lot of benchmarking. I have access to guest spend, uh, Cal U source, other tools where I work, where I can actually determine what other agencies have paid. BH Photo has typically been a retailer, but they now have um, a group within their sales force who specifically are catering to either public agencies such as this and or businesses. And they have uh, a representative that represents all of Western U.S. and uh, again, I have yet to find something that's in this type of category in terms of product that they have been undersold by. Well, let's keep that in mind because the the initial purchase here was to do a, a test of it to make sure that it's going to work. Mm -hmm. And when the treatment plan is done, we're going to have at least two more of these devices. So we'll definitely <coughs> contact me in each photo and get okay. access. Well, <laughs> sorry. Did that purchase so follow, follow the procedures that we outlined in our purchasing policies? Yes. Okay. Uh, any further comments from the board? Do you have anything else?
public to know. Back to the public comments. Okay, I have a few more things. Um, we're on claims detail, is that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Laverne. <laughs>